wants to talk to you guys tonight. And it's like I said, is this um, specifically for a frustrated man? And even more so to go even further, men who are frustrated because you did not grow up with your father in your life. Right. And um, it's causing a lot of frustration in, in you because um, no one was there to teach you anything. No one was there to give you the game. No one was there to give you a heads up on anything or just give you wisdom. And you're so frustrated. You're so upset because you had to learn a lot of stuff the hard way. And God sees that. God sees that you had to learn a lot of stuff the hard way. And, you, and the problem is this, is that you don't ask anyone for help because you're not used to asking anyone for help um, because that's foreign to you. You're so used to doing everything alone. But at the same time, you're tired of doing everything alone, alone because you have to learn everything the hard way by doing everything alone. And the Lord sees this, this vicious cycle and he wants to break you from it, okay? And the scripture says this, if you need wisdom, ask our God who is generous and he will give you wisdom. You do not have to twist God, God's arm um, to get wisdom out of him. He wants to give you the game. And the best part about it is that he's your spiritual father. He is your original creator. So he can give you is specifically what you need to hear for you in your life. Right. And so um, another scripture that says this, I'm going to just, if you see it's James, uh, James chapter four, verse six, if you go to the bottom, it says, yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. Listen, God does not have, is not tone deaf and he does not have a deaf ear to you. He wants you to check your motives or why you're asking for some of this stuff. Cause the book of James chapter four goes on to say that as well, that even when you do ask, um, the reason why you don't get it is because your motives are wrong. So God wants to, um, um, uh, purify you and he wants he wants to give you things out of the right motives remember the bible says this the, the bible says delight yourself in the lord and he will give you your heart's desires he never took his eye off or his ear off of you your father may have abandoned you your father natural father may not may not have given you the game but god can not only give you uh the game but he can give you wisdom OK, he'll give you that thing where you, where you know what to do and you don't know what to do. OK, so you don't you uh, this group of men, please be encouraged and please understand that you are set free. You are set free from the bondage of having to be your own superhero. You are set free from the bondage of always having to save yourself. You have a savior. See, people have really just compartmentalized salvation to a uh, 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 end of life experience. You have salvation in this life your father wasn't there you're safe from that and here's the thing about it if you have a living father who just abandoned you um it's a good thing that you were not brought up under the counsel of a quitter but you have a god okay a god in heaven a perfect god that has a perfect